Welcome back, trainers. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. My name's Hello Good Game, and I'm here pleased to showcase the new Pokemon Pocket trading card game, which honestly, right out of the gate, I am pleasantly surprised with. Uh, available now in your app store if you want to check it out. For today's video, I figure we can maybe just open a couple packs, build a deck, and uh, you know, play a game. And it's all here within the app available for you. You will have to level up um, as you're uh, a new player. You can go through the tutorial and what have you to unlock some of the features that I'll be showcasing today. But, um, you know, I've been playing the game for less than half a day, right? Uh, just on and off for a little bit, uh, maybe an hour at, at most, right? So um, here we are, level six. Uh, we're going to jump in and maybe open a couple packs. I'm looking for some fire Pokemon um, because I am stuck on um you know one of these battles right so uh, i have been saving up all my packs i didn't really want to open them uh and that i think that's probably why i'm stuck because i wanted to get on and film for you um the opening of some of these packs so i've saved up quite a few points here um just by completing some of the daily quests uh that are available and um of course we'll showcase all of that as well so um the packs are pretty cool you let them open all kind of ones apparently and um, let me just flip through and see what we get. I did get uh, super lucky. And on my fourth pack, um, literally right as I was opening up the app, I think we got uh, one of the best cards, the uh, Mewtwo X. I'm kind of flipping through. We did get 10 packs, so it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit. Slam through these here. Um, well, that one's all right. I, uh, in, in all honesty, haven't played a lot of Pokemon in my life. Uh, I had a few cards when I was, you know, like, maybe in grade four or something. Really, really young, right? Like, uh, you know, oh, 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 hello! And I'm done. Hello, good pull. Um, but I don't think this is as good as it gets, but it's still pretty decent, right? Um, it's just the four star, and I think they go up to, like, uh, having a crown as well. I don't know if Charizard necessarily comes in that variant. Um, just Mewtwo. Um, Meowth, that's right. Nice. See how this is a gold star, though, in comparison to that uh, Charizard that was four uh, silver stars? So I think we go up to, like, three gold stars, and then it goes to a crown, I'm pretty sure. Um, just as far as your card rarity goes, you'll see that uh, symbol on the bottom. Nice. I'm looking for fire Pokemon, so that Charizard was uh, pretty good, right? Literally just learning how to play the game. And um, the app here, or the game itself, um, does a great job of that. The tutorial missions uh, that you complete, uh, literally teaching you how to play. Um, with the actual cards, which is fantastic. Because um, we've all played, you know, um, like the, the Game Boy Pokemons, right? Or the Nintendo Switch Pokemons is involved here. Uh, and it's a little different, right? So to actually play with the paper uh, and to understand the phase changes and progression of the match um, is really nice that it's facilitated here, right? Um, ooh, Fire Pokemon, specifically for someone like myself, right? That's pretty hot. <laughs> there we go but again you know this is just um you know the four sylvies not quite where we want them to be but uh, all things considered for a beginner uh you know that's that's gonna be good enough to help us complete some of the uh, missions that we have not done so far so you can actually uh you know, get a recap here, which is really nice uh, to go through. This is the first time I've opened multiple packs at once. Um, we went from opening four packs to now having 14 of them open, which is pretty decent. Um, so let's get out of here. Um, just add those cards to our collection. I had 50 cards uh, within the collection. And now we've got two out of 103, it looks like. Obviously, there's going to be some duplicates there. Get a nice little uh, max, and you know, as, as we go through the uh, uh, 
number of cards that we've collected here just for fun, which is uh, pretty good. And then I guess we're just gonna add those uh, into our binder here, which is pretty cool. Everything's laid out uh, really nicely. The uh, user interface uh, is super smooth, right? It's never like you know, lagging out or anything. And there's like, um, you know, I'll showcase this as well, like a, definitely an emphasis within the um, like the collecting aspect of it, not just the, uh, you know, the, the playing with the cards, which is actually pretty cool. Like you can add, you can like make custom binders. Um, you can put like a card in a showcase frame, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and just like, you know, pulling out a single card. Pretty decent. Specifically, um, you know, with some of the, the better cards here, right? So you can see how this is just a gold crown. I was kind of mentioning that earlier. So there's a few cards within this variant um, that are quite rare. So that was pretty lucky. We got that in our fourth pack, and um, you know, uh, let's get through here, and now uh, we can uh, maybe showcase some of the other things. We'll go back to the home screen. We've leveled up, obviously. I mean, we've opened so many packs there, right? And um, we've done a few missions. We may as well showcase that, right? So this is how you're going to, uh, you know, get a lot of... You know, required so you can like that's actually another really cool aspect is you can um obviously build your own decks but also rent uh decks try out uh to beat some of the quests with as well which is just so cool there's a lot of really cool things here so uh back to the home screen let's talk about these wonder picks as well i'm just gonna add some points and we've been farming these them up. So now you can actually get a card from a pack that someone else has opened, which is pretty cool. So you can just like see some random users here. Um, so we're just kind of kind of look for a card that we want within one of their packs. Um, again, I don't really know a lot of the Pokemon. I know some of them, but we'll just look for one that we like. Maybe this. Magneton, probably not so much though. Um, looking and looking and specifically good to snipe Pokemon you don't have yet, I guess, as your collection would grow more full, right? Or just a regular Mewtwo. Just to showcase it, let's try it out. And then it's gonna like, um, you know, like a shell game kind of for us. So see here, shovel them up. And big money, big money, no whammies. Let's go. No, Mewtwo for you. <laughs> Get wrecked, right? But, um, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, not a bad experience, right? We'll just add that hook to a Pokedex. Is that a card we didn't have? Oh, at least, at least, right? At least. That's not bad. We're at 72 out of 226. Um, you know, that's one third of the collection, and I've played. Um, so thank you. You need a uh, friend request as well. And, uh, you know, it's a good way to complete um, your completion, I guess, to snipe cards. And um, again, you know, just a testament to uh, how easy it is to complete maybe your collection. We've got, I guess, 104 out of 226, which is pretty decent. Um, Considering we've only played for like an hour or two, maybe. So back to the home screen. Um, there's the shop if you want to look at that quickly, um, just to go through all the different aspects of the game. Uh, free daily gift, um, <clears throat> magic. You see how that's every day, not just once and <laughs> once a month. Um, but then mostly, I think spending your points on these hourglasses, the pack hourglass or the wonder hourglass, um, and then you can open more packs and you can do more of those, um, you know, little uh, shell games. That we just did there. I don't really know how to refer to it. I guess you would refer to it as the wonder. 
as it says. Um, special shop tickets, uh, and they're, like you see the tab where tickets, emblems, special, we'll go through that as well. Um, you know, binder covers. Like I said, you can make uh, custom binders, and that's all with different arts and stuff that you can get, which is pretty decent. And then, you know, there's some cards that you can just straight up get uh, as well, which is pretty decent. Um, some emblems for your um, profile, I suppose. And then, um, you know, the coin that you flip, the backdrop, again, another cover. Uh, a playmat, different playmats is cool as well, and sleeves. Uh, just like Magic has, if you're familiar. Um, so that's the shop, and now we can move in. Uh, I think we kind of talked about the collection already. Um, new custom binders. I think I made one uh, really quickly. You know, it means not much. It's untitled even still, but uh, you can put specific cards in your binder, um, which is decent. And there is also, in a similar fashion, the display board, which is just like, um, you know, a, a card holder. I don't know. It's like a... It's kind of weird, but at the same time, that is so classy. Like, dang, dude. Um, and again, you can get different backgrounds uh, for all of this, as well as you go and collect different things. So, you definitely an emphasis on, um, you know, that collection experience. And um, moving in now to the social hub, you'll notice that it says uh, trade here coming soon. Uh, yes, yes. In the future, magic. You see that. Um, just basically, you know, some features that we appreciate. Um, community showcase again, you know, this is more or less just an emphasis on collecting things and, you know, the aesthetics of it. See what your friends have, um, or I guess just meet new friends, right? But then we get into the meat and potatoes of, uh, the battle, right? So, um, you can play against your friends with versus, which is pretty cool. And you can also um, just do like some single player missions, which I also appreciate. Magic. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I see what kind of video this is. Yeah, so um, the rental decks, which is really cool. There's a number of uses, but it's great, you know, if you're stuck and you can't beat uh, a level or, you know, you just don't have the, uh, the cards. And then you can also uh, build your own decks, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll just build a new deck here. And um, edit the list. Uh, we can auto build, which is pretty cool if you want. And then you can just kind of pick uh, what you want your deck to be like. And you can do that at any point, right? So you can kind of, you know, say if I wanted my Mewtwo in the deck, right? You're in. You got to be there. And I also wanted Meowth, because why not? Uh, and then that's like, well, you know, that's, I don't have much of a collection. I don't care. Dragonite 2, that's really stretching our, our different, uh, colors though, right? Um, but then we just go auto build, uh, when we're bored with that and hit it real good. Boom. Uh, so I, I guess apparently we're a grass deck, <laughs> but you know, with, uh, with, that's probably I don't know enough of, to say that that's probably correct. I, I think that the colorless are um, essential to have, uh, and then to because you don't want to have too many colors. Like uh, for example, um, his double horn ability is two leaf energy or green energies, um, and you know that can be kind of difficult to accumulate uh, if you're running multiple colors. And I'm also looking for purple, for example, here. Um, but that's the deck builder. This video is not about building a great deck. Here's a wicked three color deck. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> uh, and again, we go back into the battle here. And uh, before we do that, let's take a look at the missions. Uh, these are your daily quests that you can do. Um, you know, advanced daily, um, Pokedex, deck quests, and then there's even premium. Uh, if you want to get into that, maybe we can talk about that as well. Uh, I'm going to play this game totally free to play and try to skip that. Uh, but by the looks of it, you'll unlock premium quests. So obviously you're going to be getting more, more of your collection. Uh, because you have more quests to do every day. And then you also, um, if we go back to the home screen, gain a secondary stamina bar here. Um, to uh, fill up to collect packs with, I suppose, right? That's how that's all bases off this. Uh, timer or quote-unquote stamina bar 
Okay, so let's uh, get absolutely whooped. I've been working my way through this. Um, you know, we've done the beginner, we've done the intermediate, and we're into the advanced. And, um, you know, I really should make the deck myself, maybe, because we, we need Charizard in here. Um, we need some fire Pokemon, so let's edit this. Uh, remove all, auto build. I need fire, please. And uh, I'm gonna use Psychic because I need to Psychic, right? So we, uh, can I not play Charizard without the Char Charmeleon and stuff? Probably not. You might evolve them, bro. But we still want to run maybe some of these other fire Pokemon, if you like. We're missing their required evolution as well. Okay, never mind. We don't really have much. We only do 20 damage with their attack. And that's why we're only running this one, because it does 30. Okay. Should we drop Mewtwo? I mean, I feel like three colors is not going to do well. Again, you know, maybe this video's not necessarily about winning the match. <laughs> Just showcasing the game. <laughs> um, here we are. And then after this, I will, uh, you know, I can give up my friend um, ID or whatever if you want to send a request, and then we can maybe play some matches together. Uh, furthermore, uh, the menu, you know, if you want to concede, check out your battle log, you know, what um, the last play was, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Magic. Um, but then the auto battler, if you wanted that as well, and maybe that's just a good way to showcase the game here really quick. Um, because I don't think we're going to win anyways. Um, you know, I'm pretty far along here. This is a, an advanced battle, right? Maybe we should have went to a, one of the easier ones. Um... But this Bulbasaur gets into like the Venusaur or whatever, and it has so many health points. I cannot kill it. <laughs> I've been stuck here for a while. Um, so I was hoping, you know, with the opening of a few packs here today, uh, that we would be able to accumulate maybe a few fire Pokemon, because I don't have any, right? Uh, to beat this level, um, we could rent a fire deck, I think, to, to blaze through it if we wanted. Um, but I don't mind the challenge, right? I don't mind losing a couple times uh, and struggling. Um, I'm not entirely uh, certain of the quality of the auto battler as of yet. I think it's fairly effective. You can see here it's evolving uh, and then getting that nice attack in. Hopefully we can kill this obvious door before it goes to its final uh, form. No, you're dead. So this is my struggle. And now uh, at least it doesn't have the energy on it yet. Right? So we get uh, like a turn or two here. Um, a lot of health points though. Uh, and as soon as this giant bloom starts firing, you know, we're, we're done. Um, that'll be a little loud. Let me turn that down. Sorry. Farfetch'd, um, you know, if you're just starting the game, I know I just got one hit here, but uh, a really high quality uh, creature uh, is it Hacks Punch. Um, Scyther, you can do it. Not, not even close. Um, so you see, like, the... So the auto battler didn't even play our fire Pokemon, uh, which is a little bit of a letdown here. And, you know, now we're done, though. Dunzo Washington. Hit for 100, heal for 30. Goodbye. So you get three points. Um, first one of three points wins. And if you knock out an EX creature, you uh, get two points. Or uh, if it's your creature, you'll lose two, like they'll get two points, right? So um, that's how you win the game. You know, draw off the top. Pokemon goes up front. Uh, and then you get three backups that you can uh, rotate to. And max is out at 10. One energy every turn. Uh, all of this is explained in the tutorial for you really nicely. You'll go through like, you know, each kind of battle phase at a time, if you will, as it teaches you. Like, well, this is when you draw cards. You know, this is when you play your creatures. So on and so forth. So we get absolutely whooped. 
Um, we are definitely going to need a few more fire Pokemon to overcome those health points, right? Uh, the health points here are so high that we need the weakness, right? So we need to be hitting them um, more fire attacks. I only want a red deck. That's it. It really likes to spread these colors. I'm going to take manual control. I don't think I'd be able to play this card. I think you have to evolve it up. I'm pretty certain. Again, I'm new to Pokemon. Um, I guess I'll just add you. And you. I don't think I can add this either. I think it needs the evolution to be in the deck. Because um, that's how we are able to play our um, other rat here. All right, so that's our next deck that we're gonna try with. Um, of course, you know, I'm gonna maybe open some new packs. Uh, daily videos, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested. Um, of course, you know, we're gonna just keep doing magic content. Uh, just a little bit of a lull while we wait for foundations to drop here on the November 5th. Five more days, the perfect time to play some Pokemon. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord. Most importantly, kick back, relax, and good luck on your packs.